In our educational system, students don't encounter computational thinking skills until much later on, such as high school or, or beyond, and we wanted to find a way for young students as early as elementary school to encounter computational thinking in a very accessible way. A lot of students spend time in math classrooms just sitting at their desks. There's a lot of value of using motion and using action and using games to, to promote collaborative learning. So a lot of what this project does um, that's different than some of the other work with games and learning is that it brings this physical component where students are actually engaging with each other and with the environment around them. At the beginning, we were thinking of us creating math games for students to play. We had them play our game, which was called Estimate It, a game that encourages them to use measurement and estimation skills while they traverse the physical space, aided by cell phones that give them instructions and support and help. But then we realized we did not have to create the games ourselves, uh, that we were doing a lot of the computational thinking process that we actually wanted students to do. So what we did was create the wearable game engine, which allows students and teachers to create the games without actually requiring them to do the hard programming that's involved in creating technology. So the wearable games engine is a platform that I created. Students and teachers can log on, um, they can create new games, they can edit existing games, and they can also manage the games. It's a very simple to use interface. You can create new blocks, which are the little states, and then you can drag arrows between these states. Right now, we have high school students creating math games for middle school students. But in the future, we want to have middle school students creating games for elementary school students. So there's a full loop where everybody develops computational thinking. It gives students the awareness that technology requires both the front end and the back end. And so it kind of sparks this curiosity about how does technology work. That curiosity might increase their interest and engagement in other more advanced computer science or mathematics areas. By exposing young students to computational thinking ideas, we are exposing them to abstract concepts that are necessary for careers in computer science and engineering, so we are early on opening a door to those STEM fields.